46 degrees Celsius. That's nothing. These connectors can go more than 100 amps. And the temperature here. So Hardware Busters, a very reputable site that's been around for a long time and also a YouTube channel, took a trip over to ASUS's headquarters that makes the cables for ASUS, which is a secondary company called Linewell. This company went along and started testing the new cable design to see if there would be any burning or melting of any sort. And it seems like they actually redesigned it in a way that is working properly this time. In July of this year, the company PCI SIG, who designs the connector itself, actually released an updated version of the connector that they called 12 volt 2x6, which was something that people were kind of unsure of if they were going to implement on the current generation of video cards, AKA the 40 series, or they were gonna wait until the 50 series to put that new connector on. It seems like they are starting to implement some design changes as a lot of the new cards that have been coming out have had the shorter sense pins, but there is a caveat to this. According to Hardware Busters, you will not only need the new connector to not run into issues, but you'll also need the new cables that use the NTK style pin versus the older Astron style pin, which is something I actually talked about in a different video before. Okay, yes, it's no problem solved. You have to have the new pins which are more conductive. If you don't have them, then expect very high temperatures. And of course, we'll have the melted uh, connector issue. It's the older three dimple style Astron connector that's inside of the actual cable. They want to switch potentially to a new four spring design that comes from NTK, which has actually been used in the past in other cables and should also help with creating a better connection between the card and the cable itself. Bent it like that. It's DC, I don't have a problem with that in the PCB, okay? <laughs> As you can see here, the main guy from Hardware Busters is bending the cable quite a bit to really show you how far they've gotten. You can actually bend it, like for an example, if you had one of those 011 cases and the GPU was really way too close to the glass, you could technically fit it without one of those adapters, which by the way, the cable mod adapters, if anyone isn't following the story, is also one of the major culprits of all those cards burning up. And they also are coming out, or already did come out, with a new revision of that connector, the 90 degree adapters that go in to kind of alleviate that bending problem with the cable in the first place. We noticed that the failure rate of the adapters compared to our equivalent 12 volt high power cables is significantly higher. While cases of failure are rare, they do happen in more often than our cables, which could mean that unlucky users are going to be without a working GPU for a few weeks. If you guys have any interest in this topic at all, I'm going to leave the original Hardware Busters video linked down below. I definitely would watch that as they go into more detail about what they're doing and their testing methodologies. But as you can see here, they're doing the simple leave the connector half inserted, which was pretty much the original issue that GN brought up. It's currently at 258 degrees. I think we see the smoke, Steve. You see the smoke? Andrew, can you see it okay? Did you, did you get the shot? This is the best connector in the world. Things like cable management while you're closing your PC case and you're not really paying attention and the cable slightly slips out. This is a circumstance like that which could possibly cause the connector to melt. So I feel like this topic has been bludgeoned to death and like literally everyone has just talked about it at some point and it's kind of tiring to even bring it up or talk about it. But there is one major thing here that is kind of an issue and it's what are they going to do for the original customers that bought these cards? NVIDIA has an obligation at this point to either offer some kind of refund or repair. Even companies like CableMod are handling the situation better than NVIDIA has handled it ever. They uh, have a melting connector or some issue. They take your card in and they'll send it to somebody like Northridge Repair. And that's why he had that contract with them and he was bringing up all those issues. I don't know if you guys remember that video, but the Northridge Repair and Jay's Two Cents video was like pretty much blaming NVIDIA for this. And I, I can't help but agree. Sure, the PCI SIG development of the connector, there was definitely a miss there. They messed it up. But NVIDIA should have known better to have tested all of their products that they're selling and not have sent something out that has such an issue like this. I mean, this is like really just dumb. It's dumb stuff, to be honest. This is fire starting. That's a problem. I've been fortunate enough to not have any melting problems with my own personal 4090. 
but I do have a very early version of the card and I want to actually take it and solder on the new connector. So the second that I can find them on AliExpress or some site, I will import one of them or whatever, whatever it takes to get the new connector here, I'm gonna buy it and uh, we're gonna solder it onto the card on this channel. So that's gonna be something I'm gonna do. If you guys are interested in that, probably subscribe or something if you want. And uh, yeah, sorry for this short video, but just wanted to give you guys an update on that and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.